historically, you know, in order to protect against the various type of virus, once a virus is identified, you come up with a signature. So when a file comes in, you know, you scan it, you know, scan against that particular signature. Are they, if they match, you block it. Mm. So that has historically been the way to do antivirus protection. But we find that it's inadequate. The reason why it's inadequate is that back in year 2007, we generated like one million vir you know, signatures. Okay, in year 2008, we generated like 1.6 million signatures. And in year 2009, we generated approximately 2.9 million signatures. It's more than all the years combined in year 2009. Last year, we generated like 10 million new signatures. The reason is a lot of these viruses used to, you know, in the past it used to one virus try to impact, you know, all the all the endpoints, all the systems out there. Now the the attacks are very very targeted. Sometimes someone actually used one virus to, or one set of malicious code for one customer or one one person only. So it's highly targeted. So using a signature based, because of the volume. You know, it's not going to be adequate because you just don't know when you are attacking one person, two person, three person, ten person. Mm. You know, the signature, the, the machine doesn't catch them, right? If you can catch them, you can block them. So, so your ability to catch the zero day attack become very, very important because the old way of you know using signature based is just end to antiquated these days. It's too slow and it's not practical. I would say that you know I think we should separate the two. I would say that the overall data center requires above and beyond you know, just the endpoint protection. Mm. Endpoint protection is very important in the overall security posturing uh, in a, for an enterprise. So it's just endpoint protection is sort of just one aspect of it. We often believe that in order for an enterprise to have a more comprehensive way of addressing the security, the security concern, number one, their approach got to be policy-based driven. There are five major components in building a very secure environment, you know, from a semantic perspective. Number one, it's got to be policy-based. Mm -hmm. Security is, is not something like you have a headache, you know, you take some Tylenol, you scrape your knees, you put a Band-Aid on. It's not a point product type of an approach. It's mm -hmm. a solution-based. You got to look at it from a holistic view as a result, you know, it is policy-based driven for the entire organization. Okay. So in the past, the second component is the, the second component is the, um, you know, you need to protect your infrastructure. You don't want to have someone hack into your system, bring down your system, blue screen all your, you know, blue screen all your terminals, you know, to bring down your systems. And that is not something that we want to see. So protecting the infrastructure is also very, very important. So, but more importantly, if this is an, you know, if this is an iPad or if this is your, your, your mobile phone or your PDA, when you lose this particular device, I would much rather, I would much rather we, you know, you know I just say, all right, you can steal the device, but please do not steal, you know. I can lose this particular device, but I would much rather you say, don't steal the information. I would be able to wipe it clean, delete all the files, you can take the device. So. So protecting the infrastructure is not enough. You got to be able to protect the information inside. And whether you are using the mobile, whether you are using an iPad, whether you are using a computer, you know, via Wi-Fi to get onto the network, in the cyber world, the identity management is very important. You got to be who you say you are. So the identity management, the authentication is a very important element of it. And then the fifth element is that you cannot manage, you cannot secure what you have unless you know what you have. You must have the ability to manage them in order to provide a secure environment. So, in a nutshell, there are five key components in building a highly you know, secure environment. Number one, it's gotta be policy-based driven. Mm -hmm. Number two, it's gotta be protecting your overall infrastructure. Number three, you gotta be able to protect the key information that you have, like your IP, like your customer accounts information, credit card information, PIN, etc. Number four, it's got to be the identity management. You must be able to authenticate the users. Number five, you've got to be able to manage the environment because 
an untidy environment is a highly insecure environment. You got to be able to manage what you have. We believe security got to be invincible. It got to be invisible. It got to be highly integrated. As a result, when you operate it, you know it's very very easy to operate, rather than you know you have to buy one solutions and you know work trying to work it with another solutions. And right now, when we call endpoint protection, it's not just about antivirus. It's about intrusion detection, protection, device management, network access control, uh, antivirus, anti-spyware, all integrated in one package. And we do it better and we do it faster. It's very hard to do, and more and more these days, it's not. Sometimes it's not the users. It's not the regular employees who wants to use the new device. Sometimes you know the CEO say, "Well, I want to use the iPad." And uh, find a way for me to check my emails, you know, on my iPad. And uh, you know, once you check the emails, mm. you know, the, uh, the the pre earning release, you know, all the spreadsheets are, are downloaded to your files. And you know, is that iPad properly protected? Are the files encrypted? Yeah. Right. And all this needs to be a you know a consideration. Total protection in what respect? You know, a lot of the security threats are actually due to human errors. Right. So. So we try to make sure that the key informations are, are, are well protected. Say, for example, SCP is one element, you know, protecting the infrastructure. But you have to ask, you know, a company have to ask themselves, what is the most valuable asset they need to protect? I would argue that the information perhaps is the most valuable asset they need to protect. You know, of course, people you know always come first. Mm -hmm. Information is very, very key. As I said before, if you lose your iPad, if you lose your computer, you know, if you lose your computer, you would much rather say, "All right, bad luck." You know, I just say that my computer is you know is three years old. Mm -hmm. But you sure do not want to leave you know lose all the files that is inside your computer. Yeah. You would much rather have the ability to delete it, wipe it off, and say, "Hey guys, you know, you can't have it. <laughs> I just get a new one." Mm -hmm. I mean, what can you do in situation like that? Thank you.